Hey guys, we got our first look here at Brandon Thrain as Robin. Um, this is coming from the DC streaming service, which will have the show Titans on there. So here we go. Here we have our first look at Brandon Thwaites as Robin, and it looks pretty awesome. We only get our first a top shot. We don't get a full shot of him, um, but imagine the, the suit probably have some sort of pants on, or maybe he'll have some sort of, uh, you know, I, guess I don't think he'll have the tights that he had, like in the 66 show and all that stuff, and his original appearance, but it'll probably more along the lines of, along the lines of, uh, Red Robin, the 90s Robin, and the uh, Damian Wayne costume that he had type type thing. And we have, this really is cool. I love the look of this. At first, I kind of thought this, is this some, you know, like a fan film? Because it kind of gives a look of a fan film to me. Um, but the fact, like the good parts of a fan film, how the fan films go extremely accurate, as accurate as possible. And that's what I love about this costume is that it looks pretty cool. So it is going to be cool to see what happens with this. You know, how long we get him as Robin. Um, we did get... Um, Robin in the Young Justice TV show, and then after a season or two, they did, did the time jump, and he turned, he was Nightwing uh, type thing, which I hope we get to see, if we ever do see this Dick Grayson version as Nightwing, I'd like to see the, 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 the I want to see that moment where he decides to change Nightwing, I want to see that character development rather than jumping season into him being Nightwing type thing, so this looks pretty cool, as we jump into this, let's zoom into this, because it's a really high quality photo, so we can really zoom into here, and we can see all kinds of details, like the staff looks pretty cool. Um, I could see how it could kind of come apart, you know, potentially of the future because it has like better those handles for like uh, if he wants to use them as just two separate stuff. So that looks kind of cool there. I love the green and the gloves. That looks pretty cool. Um, the R, the R just looks perfect. I mean, I, 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 it, everything just looks perfect. I love the, the 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 color of red, the type of red that they got, um, and everything looks very you know movable. I mean, obviously he can move his head and stuff. Um, doesn't look like they're painting too much of his eyes, but I guess a little bit. Um, but it looks kind of cool. We're gonna have to wait and see how much it does, how they play with this, and how he acts with this to kind of use this to cover his identity. You know, if he's, if does he have a lot of people that he hangs out with? You know, how does that work for covering his secret identity? You know, is he going to high school and all that stuff? I'm not sure what age they're trying to go for with this, but it's really going to be fun to see that because this doesn't give a lot of a mask type of thing. And on the Arrow show, and with all those characters who all have just slit little masks and stuff robin masks they um they all wear hoods and stuff and you know oliver painted his eyes for the first season stuff because it wasn't uh useful and stuff so that's going to be cool to see that and see how that plays with you know if he's always in the shadows or maybe he does have a bit of a hood right here because you do see his cape um you know that's his cape and then there's something else over it maybe it's just part of his cape being folded over or maybe it is a hood to throw over when he needs to uh when he's you know when he's near someone who would recognize him as as uh, dick grayson and stuff like that so that could be really cool to see that it's going to look really fun um you know what else is there here the, the green on the shoulder pads the red underneath the cape everything looks looks perfect comic book accurateness i mean i just i don't know what to say i mean everything looks cool uh, hopefully we get to see you know maybe some of his does he have is he using batarangs in this is he using his robin um his own custom things that he makes, his Robin rings or something they're called. Not sure what they're called and stuff, but uh, it would be cool to see that. It would be cool to see him using battle rings because that's what he has access to. Why would he make his own when he can just get a bunch from from Bruce Wayne and stuff? So that could be cool to see that. Um, that could be the, their Batman reference is having you know a bunch of bat him throwing battle rings rather than uh, you know. But maybe those those actual com original comic book battle rings, not the the ones with like the bat logo, but the ones that just like the bat thing from the early ones, like the Neil Adams style one type thing in uh, the earlier days that would be really cool where it's just like a half moon type thing that would be really cool to see that battering and uh in this show and maybe it could be something like that so they could it looks really cool so i really like this i definitely can't wait to see how it works i mean you have these clips and stuff it looks really cool these uh the way they're attaching the cape reminds me a lot of uh tyler tyler hecklin's uh superman on supergirl so that looks really cool um yeah, it's so all in all, it looks really great. I really like this. I definitely can't wait to see how it looks in motion and how uh, maneuverability he is and how he's able to be. He needs to be really acrobatic. I mean, he's Nightwing. He's he's Dick Grayson. He's Robin. He needs to be able to move a lot and stuff. So uh, it's going to be cool to see how they go. Then also to see, do they go with the pants? Do they go with the um, the Speedo type thing? We'll have to wait and see. But I would, I would put, place my money on the pants and stuff. Um, but we'll have to wait and see just because you never know. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think guys about this photo in the comments below. What you like, what you don't like, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. I'm Captain America, here to talk to you about one of the most valuable traits a soldier or student can have. Subscribing. Sometimes subscribing is the key to victory. Sometimes it leads to very little, and it seems like it's not worth it. And you wonder why you waited so long for something so disappointing. How many more of these? You're still here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Peace. It's over.